Hey, my friend, it's Tessa here. If you are new to my channel, welcome. I'm so glad to have you here. And if you are a um, subscriber and you've been following me for a little while, I'm so glad to have you back. And I hope that you are so blessed today with the goodness of God. And I wanted to just stop in and I guess that's what you can say, right? You're, you're stopping by to see me. I'm stopping here to, to chat with you, to chat with you about why healthy eating is so important. And one of the biggest reasons, and I've known this, but I really rediscovered it and had a personal experience with it over the last couple of weeks is because it keeps your immune system strong and healthy. And when you are feeding your body foods that are not nutrient dense and not real foods, all the processed junk that's out there, your body is not getting the nutrients it needs and it can't be as strong and healthy as it needs to be. I was away recently on a business trip and at a big resort that had limited options. We were very busy. I was making the healthiest choices I could, taking all my supplements, but just got me to the point of exhaustion. And I ended up with this kind of crud thing in the last few days. So um, it's really been eye-opening to me to remind me because since I've been home and I'm starting to feel better, I have been craving real food, like fruits and vegetables and grass-fed meats and eggs from chickens in my yard and all the really nutrient-dense food that I know, I know in my heart that my body needs, but my body is telling me, like, Tressa, you need more of this. And um, so it's just a really good reminder to me, and I wanted to remind you that wherever you go, try to make better choices. And when you're home and you have the ability to, um, and I'm not going to be traveling for quite some time now, so I'm super excited because I'm all in for healthy fruits and vegetables, healthy meats, home cooked meals. I actually am going to be starting a fast on Monday. I'll share more about that in a minute, but like the processed food and all the packaged stuff that you buy at the grocery store, like none of that serves us well. So it's just a really, really good reminder that we need to get back to real, whole, healthy foods. And healthy can be simple. I know I say this all the time, but it's so true. You have some meat, you have some vegetables, you can put together an amazing meal and at some point, I'm going to share more with you about how I do that because I do a lot of throwing meals together without really a recipe, and I just kind of come up with things. And I'm going to do more of sharing how I do that. But really today, I just wanted to focus on the nutrients in the real foods are so much more important. And if you can get locally grown, organic, um, grass-fed meats in locally grown organic fruits and vegetables. They're going to be more nutrient dense. They're not traveling as far. You have a garden in your backyard. That's the best because you just come in and wipe off the fruits and vegetables, eat them. You can eat them right out of the garden. If you're not putting chemicals on your, um, any of your, um, of your plants, right? So you could be out in the garden eating tomatoes and, um, peppers and whatever you have out there, you're just going to get much more nutrition from that. Super, super important. So that's part one of this. <coughs> part two is I'm really feeling called by God to fast. Um, Jesus fasts for 40 days. Um, he reminds us if you're fasting, when you're fasting, not if, when you're fasting, and he calls us to fast, don't be gloom and doom, you know, put on your best self. People don't need to know that you're fasting, but you need to fast. And the fast that the Lord talks about in scripture and calls us to is a fast to bring us closer to him and remind us that he is the most um, 
the nutrients, the um, everything that we need, right? So that is not to say that you don't need the nutrients in the food. That's not it. But if you have a day or two where you do a bread and water fast, it's okay. And you offer that up to the Lord and you spend the time, extra time with him and allow that to bring you closer to him. Listen to him. Listen to what he wants you to fast from. I'm hearing him say, give up caffeine and dairy and processed foods and sugar and all that stuff that doesn't serve me well right now. Eat lots of nutrient dense foods, but keep it simple. And at least a day or two a week, maybe do a more simple fast where, you know, I'm just eating like rice and bread or you know, simple things. Um, and maybe there are several days during the week that I'm only eating a couple of meals instead of eating three meals, not doing snacking and just really offering that time in, in between, um, to him, listening to him, listening to my, what, what my body needs, but listening to the Lord and letting him guide me through. It's perfect timing because we're just four weeks away from Easter and I'm going to be starting it on Monday. So I'm actually recording this um, on Friday, March 1st. I'm going to put it up today so that you'll see it this weekend. And if you're interested in joining me for the fast, I will put the information in the description below. It's going to be a very simple fast. We'll meet once a week on a Zoom call for group coaching and support so that I can coach you through and offer you suggestions. I'll send out emails with some recipes, some scripture, and some inspiration to keep you going. And you'll have access to me through email if you have questions or anything that you need. If something major came up, we could plan a call. But I really want to keep it a simple fast. So you don't have to worry about going to a Facebook group and you don't have to worry about um, checking a million things. You just spend some time praying, asking God, what do I need to fast from? Maybe there's no food. Maybe you eat a really clean diet and maybe you need to give up social media or toxic people in your life or other things. Maybe God's just saying, you know, one day a week do this or whatever. Listen to him. He will guide you on it. And regardless of whether you join me or not, it's a great time to fast leading up to Easter and spring is coming and it's just a great time with the change of the um, of daylight savings time and spring. The days are getting longer to just start um, fresh and kind of go into spring with a cleansed heart, mind, soul, body. Um, and I'm super excited about this. And I think it's a great way for us to kind of jump off into some really healthy, clean eating. And I've got lots of great recipes to be sharing with you and um, lots more tips around how to live your best life, listen to God, and um, just healthy can be simple. Just do your best for yourself and your family to give your body what it needs and um, wellness the way God wants you to live. So I hope that you're all having a wonderful day and God bless you all. I will see you again soon. Remember to check the information below and hit subscribe so you don't miss any of my videos. I'm going to start putting more up. My kitchen is getting closer and um, with the spring upon us, the house is coming along and we're going to be moving faster and getting more done. So I'm super excited and I'll be sharing more of that with you as well. God bless.